Well, I got in this fall with, with a cylinder. I had exactly got my location where I need to be at. I got that pin strapped up there. So when I pick it up, it's not going up as high as I want it. So I have got to uh, do a little rearrange to get it where I want it. But we're going home. It's Saturday evening. It's probably about 5, 30, 6 o'clock. I'm getting out of here. Once I establish this one, I can match the other side and get it. And I think we'll be all right. Hey, look what uh, my boss man bought a lift. Engine lift with a big old, let me get where you can see it. Man, don't want light. Big old chain horse up there. It's what we use to pick blades up down with. Them patchy helicopter blades. We use this winch to do it, keeping people hurting their backs and stuff. But it works out good for the A-frame for lifting this, doing this kind of stuff for this thing. All right, let me show you what I got. This is the uh, snow plow I'm gonna put on front of it. I got to cut this piece of metal across here and replace this with a new piece of metal because this is eight out. So I don't want that on there. So I got to add on to this, to this end, probably about three or four inches on each end. You see, we got some tires sticking out. And we got some tires sticking out. So we're going to add a different, go past the tire, past the tire over there. I want it to go this high. It's going to let down to touch the blocks right there, which would be the same thing if you take it off this, you set it on concrete, it would go that much deeper than the, than the concrete. No, this much deeper. From here to there, which is probably about four inches deep. But I'm going to put these cylinders right here, one here and one there. And I'll put one on, not one here, one there, but I'll mount it here and mount it there. I'll mount it across there, similar to the way that leg bolt won't cross there. And I'll put the other one on the same way on the other side over here. So I have two cylinders picking them down. Then I have one cylinder that will tilt, that will tilt this bucket, this blade forward like that, it'll tilt it forward. Then I'll have a pin you pull out where you can rotate this blade this way or that way. Pull another pin out, the blade's gonna turn this way. So I hope it's all gonna work out. So I don't know yet. So we're working on it. This whole bottom piece across the bottom is ate up. I mean, it's ate up bad. I mean, this pit is almost slammed through it. A lot of places all the way through it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out, put a piece of flat bar. It's the same thickness as this. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to weld in there. And I bent this piece here, which ain't a, not a very good with bend, but it'll work. And I'm going to stand on this thing. about that much wider so it go past the tires. About that much wider there. And that's about the shape of the tire there. See, that's about the shape of the tire what I need for that bend for this thing. That's where we at now. I got this other cylinder mount well and waited to cool off. It ain't too bad now where I could hook this pin up and put it in there. Get that in there. Well, there's that piece I cut out of it. Pretty daggum rusted. So I got it cut off. All I do now is add this piece in there. Just weld it in there. 
Uh, well, little spot, well, little spot, well, little spot. Jump around, just keep jump around, well, so keep warping it. And I'll weld them two pieces there on the end to make my longer. And uh, drill my holes to it. Then there'll be another thicker piece of plate to go here. Just for strength, it'll lap on top of this. The one that bolts on, I don't worry, it's that. It's one that bolts on it. And I'll put it on next. I cut this piece of flat bar here, it's 52 inches, that'd be my front part, be well to it, it's quarter inch thick. And we cut some pieces over here. I'm cutting, I cut four of these in half, well not exactly in half, different sizes. You see one side is long another. I'm gonna use the longest side. Then I'll use this part here I cut off. I won't use that, I'll use the other long one there and I'll put both of them together and weld it. And that'll give them a curve. What I'm gonna do now is extend this out five more inches. And I gotta extend this piece here out five more inches. I gotta make a piece, a piece like that angle, that degree. Then I gotta add a piece here five more inches longer. So we're making them pieces now. I, we're gonna do a little something different here than I plan. I'm just gonna overlap a longer piece from here to here and just weld it here, weld it here. I mean, I'm 61 years old. I never had no problem. Let it be the next man's problem. That's all I gotta say. Well, we added on these two pieces here, so that's what it looked like added on there. So when I weld it, fill that crack up, Weld it and weld that up. This thing here be just like it'd be just as strong as a factory. Maybe not, but be pretty strong. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I know. Why don't I just split it, parts it too, and bend it to where I want it? Well, I could have, but if I did that, that's that's how much I had left on one end. It's not enough. So it had to been this wide piece and this wide piece. And that gives me the right, the right length right there. Well, I think that's gonna look pretty good and I get it welded. I wish I'd have dropped this pivot of the cylinder down least. Probably the thickness of that so that would have been, this part would have been lined up. Now I got welded up under it, welded over top of it. Now I got welded right around and welded the bottom. And uh, I think that's going to look pretty good right there. Where I'm at now, there's a little bit of footage I didn't even do. I just didn't even video it. But anyway, for the most part, this is halfway done. I still got to make my clamshell thing that comes out of here, goes back to here, so this part can open up, dump the dirt, I can drive in and pick up the dirt, open up and dump it. So I got my cylinders mounted, but they're not finished. I took this tire off. I got to make a, a little pocket gussy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is too thick, obvious. Drill a hole in it. Just be bent around and go back this way. And once I do that, I'll take another piece well on top back to here and the piece on the bottom so that'll be closed in completely. And that'll give me a lot of strength in this area right here. So we're already cutting the pieces now. Ow! I got to weld that crack. I had to move this thing one time, so I got to weld that while I got it off. This thing is so nasty, I've been putting WD-40 on back in the last, I guess winter time. I was leaving it outside, but now I put it in the shed outside and made room, so I keep it out of the weather. So let me go make them pieces. Well, it looks pretty good. Before I put my fender back on, I got to, uh, 
fix these holes in the bottom that I was experimenting with. I plugged them to. And I got to re-weld this piece here. Then I'm gonna add another piece to it that weld to this, that will come up here and go across and come back across the port that part there. So they won't be just depending on that little weld there. Cause it's starting to break across there. So I wanna weld that, do the other side the same. Then I gotta weld that right there. Get that crack there welded up where I moved that one time. Didn't weld it right. But it's time to go home. This is Sunday evening, it's about 6.30. I'm out of here.